Hello dear students, in trick number 327, I am going to tell you a technique through which you will be able to subtract numbers orally within just 2 seconds. This subtraction technique is specially for numbers which are close to the base quantities like 19 is close to 20, 38 is close to 40, 98 is close to 100 and so on. If you confront numbers like this then subtraction can be very very easy. Let us take an example in which we have to subtract 9 from 23. A very easy example. I know most of you must have guessed the answer by now. But how do we carry out this calculation in mind? See whenever we have to subtract 9 from something then you don't actually subtract 9. You reduce this by 10, it becomes 13 and just add 1 to this, your answer of 23 minus 9 is 14. So why we did this? Because 9 is very close to 10. So instead of subtracting 9, you subtract 1 more than 9 that is 10 and add that 1 which you have subtracted excess. So one more example of this kind, say we have 70, 7 minus 9. Reduce this by 10, you get 67 and add 1, you get 68. See this is how we think of numbers in our mind. So whenever we think like this, subtraction becomes very easy and actually this is a problem of addition of 1, not subtraction of 9. Now let us change the base quantity here. See, suppose we need to subtract 99 from 163. Now, this number 99 is close to 100. So, don't subtract 99, subtract 100. So, this becomes 63 and just add 1, you get your answer as 64. Let us change the base further. Suppose this time we have 80. 4 and we need to subtract 19 from this. Now these are the questions in which students normally write the quantities one below the other and then take carry from tens place and then find the difference. Now in these cases if the children are taught this mental subtraction method then I think subtraction can be a fun and very very easy process. Now see here children should be told that 19 is actually close to 20. So instead of subtracting 19, you subtract 20. So 84, if you reduce it by 20, this becomes 64 and you add 1, you get 65 as the answer. Subtraction is very easy, right? Let us change the base quantities now. Suppose we have one more example. This time we need to subtract say 176 and 39. Now see we are complicating the problems now. Now see 39 is close to 40. So instead of subtracting 39 we subtract 40. So 176 minus 40 that can be done in mind 136 and just add 1 you get 137 as the answer. If the quantity C, I am taking 9's in the units place, it can be 8's also. Now see, very very easy part. See, 98 minus 47. Now see, 47 is close to 50. So reduce this by 50, you get 48. And what is the excess difference which we have made we have we had to subtract 47 but we have subtracted 50 so we have to add that 3 excess to get the answer as 51 the step which i am writing here this plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 step this is to be done in mind and this is not actually a step to be written so mental subtraction is like that so if you feel that i am really complicating the things it is not so. This step takes place in mind and not in the uh, on the paper with the pen. Let us take more examples. Now suppose 
we have 2453 and we need to subtract 119 from this now actually i will write one more step here to just to explain this see 2453 now 100 and subtraction of 119 is actually subtraction of 120 and addition of 1 so reduce this by 100 you get 2353 and 22333 and add one you get 2334 as the difference of 2453 and 119 say so one more example so this time again we will move away from the base quantity suppose we have 624 and we need to subtract 88 from this so what we do is 624 we subtract either we can subtract 90 or we can subtract even 100 also and add 12 because 100 minus 100 plus 12 is minus 88 so if you subtract 100 this this will be 524 and then add 12 this is 536 as the answer i have just given you a hint how we can very easily subtract by using the base quantities and most of the numbers are near to the base quantities so teach students these these kind of methods so that they develop the proper attitude towards mathematics and when they think of numbers they think of numbers as a joy and not as a tension if you like it share it and subscribe the channel